Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Well, Ed Fenimore from North Georgia, you know something about power, having worked for Delta Airlines in the mechanics business for a long time, but you also know about the Power King. Tell me just a little bit about this tractor. Well, this particular tractor is a 1951 Tiller Steer Power King, made by engineering products with the economy lines also. Um, I got it in Rochester, New York, from the third owner. The gentleman, or I am the third owner. The gentleman I bought it from was the owner's, the fellow that purchased it, new son. They used it for gardening up there, and he had uh, gone through the tractor and done some work. But uh, it came with the uh, cultivator you see and a, a Birch A08 orange plow. And you're glad you went there, didn't you? Uh, absolutely. I, uh, <laughs> I negotiated with this gentleman for about two months. And then when we finally got around to talking about a price, he wouldn't give me a price. He said, you give me a price. Well, I had a figure in mind. So I started a little lower, made him one offer, and he came back with a counter, and I took it. So it was good to go. It came in under budget except for the trip to go to Rochester, New York to pick the tractor up. It has a tiller steer on it, which is very rare. The tiller was offered as the low cost option to the Ross steering gear when they were added to the tractors. My understanding is uh, this was in between the chain steer and the Ross. They went from the chain steer to the Ross steering gear. The chain steers were, they were okay. They were not real, real, uh, real handy to use. It'd take the wheel out of your hand. But the raw steering gear added about $45 to the cost of the tractor. And at the time, a lot of money. So for $7, you could get a tiller steer. They are kind of rare. This is one of nine that we have on a de facto group. And it is also the oldest one. So Ed, tell us just a little bit more about some of the features of the Power King back in 1951. Okay, in 1951, this particular tractor was equipped with a Briggs & Stratton Model 23 FB engine. It's manual start. But it uses basically the same drivetrain as the preceding Economy slash Power King tractors. It's got an eight inch clutch, the same three-speed transmission, H pattern, uh, closed drive shaft to a modified Ford rear end with uh, drop vinyl drives. Now it looks like you handle this tractor pretty easily when it's going around in a field, but uh, tell us about the pluses and minuses of the tiller steer. Well, I don't know whether there are really many pluses. It steers real quick and it you have to have your wits about you when you go to back it up. It, uh, you think you're going the right way and you move and the next thing you know you should have moved the tiller the other way. But going forward, you push the lever the way you want to go. If you want to go right, well, you'll see. The brakes are awkward, the pedals are inside the frame. It does have brakes on both rear wheels, but I don't know how. You can use the clutch and the left brake. So most of the time, if I need a brake, I just step on the right one, but most of the time you go slow with it and you're okay. For 1951, do you think this would be some pretty handy horsepower around the farm or the home? Oh, absolutely. This was probably the king of the garden tractors in the period. These tractors were extremely tough, all gear drive. Only thing was belt operated on some of them were some of the power equipment, which wasn't available in 51. They had some deck mowers that were kind of crude, but uh, for gardening, for plowing, disking, tilling, cultivating, but as far as handy around the house and on a farm, small, small, uh, small farm, large garden, it was a great piece of machinery. Now, Ed, how does a guy who uh, works on aircraft get into working on garden tractors? Well, my first Power King I found four miles away from the house, and I watched this old tractor sit in a guy's field just right away, but what caught my eye were the wheels. It had spoke wheels, 24-inch spoke wheels, I thought that was neat, but it took me 10 years to get it, and I did. All right, Ed Fenimore of Georgia, he's got a power king and he's going to hold on to it for a good long time.